So over summer break, I went to one of the worst countries on earth, Europe. And as an American, I had some crazy experiences. Like a taxi driver who met, like a taxi driver who met a stripper, accidentally destroyed a grocery store with a shopping cart. Oh, I have lead poisoning. Anyway, this is my first commentary video. I just had a couple of my friends on and we played some video games and talked and it was pretty chill. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Ethan's in his America first outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I think you should switch your skin. I need to get a MAGA hat for this skin. That's what I need. <laughs> I, wonder, I disagree. I wonder if Essential has any of those cosmetics. Let me no, check. No, no. Guys, I think I accidentally just shipped a MAGA hat to my address, like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys ready to record some commentary? To be an American. <laughs> when you started singing that, I pressed F5. <laughs> 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 Enough about American politics. I'm gonna talk about Europe in this video because okay. I love Europe. Uh, because I went to Europe recently. <laughs> oh, oh, you love Europe over, now. Okay, traitor. Over summer break. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. And Europe, Europe's honestly, it's not that bad. Like, it gets a bad rep, but like, it's not too bad. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't live there or go there ever again. Wait, My so. first experience in Dublin was pretty awful. Uh, we took like a 10 hour flight from Seattle to Iceland to Dublin. And Iceland was honestly like the night really nice. Anyway, I landed at Dublin and five minutes after we got out of the airport, we were in this massive line, like probably 200 people, 90% Americans waiting for like taxis. And I was mm. talking to my mom. And since I haven't done much uh, talk about Europe in like history and stuff, because Europe is irrelevant to me. You know, you know, everyone knows the misconceptions that Americans are dumb and silly and don't know anything um, about, uh. about, you know, Europe and other cultures. Uh, and I reinforced that immediately because I was talking to my mom and I thought, well, I know one part of Ireland is free uh, from the UK and one part is not. And I thought Northern Ir Ireland was the part that was free and we were in Dublin. And I thought Dublin and like that whole part of Ireland was part of the UK. So I'm like, oh yeah, I we're in the UK. Why didn't we get like, a, you know, a UK stamp when we arrived? You know, cause we have to go through customs. Um, and my mom's like, Hello. no, no, we're not. And some Ireland Irish guy heard me and was like, you know, you know, this is the free part of Ireland, right? And he said it in a super <laughs> Irish accent, which I can't do because I'm untalented. Like in it. That's British, I think. So I was like, what, what the, like, what the heck? Um, and felt super embarrassed because I was stupid and uh, had already said something dumb. Five minutes uh -huh. after being in Europe. Yeah, five Pretty minutes the in. Status quo with you. So another thing I saw is like right after we got at the airport, um, on the wall of the airport, I saw a, a, a graffiti. The fir like the first graffiti I saw was massive text saying "F Taylor Swift." That was the first thing I saw after after getting out of the airport. Oh yeah, 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 the taxi driver. This is one of the funniest taxi drivers I've ever had. Like probably the funniest. He was this little. He was probably like five three. Uh, not not a, not a great hairline. I'm not gonna lie. Redhead. Um. No offense to him. He was a really like nice guy. He picked us up at like 5.30 a.m. because we had to re make a flight. And it was like a 45 minute drive to the airport from where we were staying. Yeah. And he talked the whole way and it, like, he, t he, like um, he talked about his wife and how pretty she was. And uh, she w he was talking about how pretty she was. And you know, I'm not gonna lie. He wasn't, he wasn't the prettiest guy. Um, and I don't want to be mean, but he- The hairline. You know, no, just like in general. I mean, there was nothing wrong with him. He just like wasn't the, wasn't the prettiest guy. And he, he started talking about his wife. I was like, okay, I mean, she's probably like looks fine. And you know, because he was talking about how pretty she is and how happy she, he is to be with her. I was like, okay, cool. And then he like opened his phone and like it, it, they were on his phone, you know, they were together on his phone lock screen. He's like, oh yeah, this is my wife. She is like an abs, like an actual model. I was like, how did this guy end up with a model? And I was just like flabbergasted. Personality. Yeah, no, he has it. That's that's what that's what he said. That's what he said. But then, then he he talked. He started telling the story of how he met his wife, and he told my mom. I, there's two stories: the real story and the fake story. And he's like, I like to tell the real story, but it's a little inappropriate. And both my sisters are in the car, and they're you know not super old. And my mom's like, yeah. well, and then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 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 and starts telling like the fake story. The the fake story is oh. he worked at a club and. Uh, you know, like a strip club, basically. And he was okay. a bouncer. Um, and then she was she was one of the uh, the dancers at the at at said club. And my mom's oh. like, wait, 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 no, no, no! I like, cut him off, cut him off, like right there. My my sisters didn't get it. Um, <laughs> and then one of the funniest ones is she was like dancing. They were like at a wedding or something, and she was like dancing. And she was like a ballerina or some some sort of dancer. Like a, like she was she's like an actual like good dancer. 
and he told that story That's to someone. And later, and later, that person went up to his wife and was like, "Hey, uh, hey, I, you're such a good dancer. That's I'm so happy for you. I'm glad. I'm glad you found such a good guy and all this stuff." It's like, I never knew you worked at like a strip club. And she was like, just lo- he said he looked. She looked over at me from across the wedding, and he was like, "Yeah, I knew I was gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight." <laughs> it was, she said it all in like an Irish accent. And if I was actually talented, I could do an Irish accent, but I'm not. Like, I have a, I have a. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off right there. You've already offended the Irish enough. You can stop now. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I mean. Are you having a famine? Wait, what's Dino Ball? Can we try that? Uh, sidetracked immediately. Literally speed run levels of sidetracked right there. Uh, It'll has just... to be a new world record for how quick Ethan gets gotten sidetracked. It's like just a second. I just want to. Instantly kicked in. I just want to try it, guys. No! Oh my god, I clutched that, I clutched that. Nice, I, I saw that. that, I saw that. Get up, get up, dude. I think that we'll... was actually the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. That was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ethan. You're putting that in the video. <laughs> After, in all the museums I went in, I went in probably hundreds of museums, perhaps thousands. Um, and in those museums, I saw hundreds and thousands of statues. Some men, some women, some animal. Hey, yo. But one thing was the same on all of them. I can confidently say, after inspecting all of the statues in Europe, and I mean all of them, I can confidently say that it is normal for one ball to hang lower than the other. I can say that with full okay. confidence. All right, all right, all right. And which ball would that be exactly? Mm, I, I, after, after all my research, I cannot confirm which one is more common. Uh, but it is 100% normal for one to hang lower. I looked at the statue of David. <laughs> The statue uh-huh. of Zeus. Um, lots of just random guys who were just naked. Um, but that sounds oh, that bad. <laughs> that sounds bad. That sounds statues bad. were made generally. Um, uh, so Evan, I know you have a little bit of insecurity about that, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Don't worry about oh, it. All right, you're all one, good. one is like a solid three inches long. <laughs> okay, <the> three <laughs> inches might be a little much. Um, no, I'm no professional. Please stop talking. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Evan, uh, I'm gonna punch you off for that one. No! He's coming back. I can sense it. Oh, we're the only two left. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> was, I hate you. I hate you. right there. Okay, I'm sorry. Back to commentating. Anyway, that segue... Seg- <laughs> that segues into my... Um, that segues into my next talking point, which is... All old sculptors and painters were gay. No. No, they actually were. <laughs> so then we, then we went to Spain, and the first thing I wrote down, uh, in all caps, you, I, I'll, I'll give us a dramatic reading of what I said. The Spanish okay. Duke, this, I, the Spanish, <laughs> no, the Spanish youth are weak and frail, and I would obliterate them. And how that's, so? That's the, because, in what way? They all have small calves, because that's how everyone should judge strength, is by how big your calves are. I don't understand. Hmm. Honestly, kind of bad. You should hit calves more. Good luck escaping from that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Just like, Allah! Also, we went to Gibraltar, which actually just sucks. I don't know why anyone... Yeah, it's Gibraltar. British, isn't it? Yeah, it's th- that's the only time we technically went into the UK. It is technically British. Um... Uh. <laughs> but it was like the biggest tourist trap I've ever been to. Like, we had to pay like two hundred dollars yeah, to get like a tour. Um, and they, they had paid actors. They had they had there was monkeys. I know there's like videos online of the monkeys there, but there were monkeys and people would just like pick up the monkeys and touch them and grab them. And then the monkeys would like steal stuff from people. I watched a monkey steal like I don't know. It wasn't like a phone, but it was like. It was like, I think it was like a pair of AirPods from the lady, and she started screaming. I was like, bro, like, you're the one, like, holding on to the monkey. Leave the monkey alone. This this brings me to my, my newest, uh, conviction, which is that when animals, specifically the smart ones, mm-hmm. steal or harm humans, kill them. <laughs> That's a little... Do it. Kill them. But also, the reason I say they're paid actors is because whenever the tour guides would come up, they they would like get, like just give the monkey like a nut or something and pick it up, and they just, the, the monkey would just like sit there. It wouldn't do anything. He could like give it to other people and they'd be super chill. 
Like the monkeys would like straight up listen to the tour guides. They're actually just paid actors. That's pretty funny. I like that. Yeah. Uh, and everyone was upset. Was it just me? Yeah, I'd imagine that they trained monkeys to steal from tourists. No, I'd no, be upset. No, they did, I swear. Like, there's no way I could prove this. But they taught the monkeys to steal from people. I bet the monkeys bring, like, all the phones and stuff they steal back to them. The tour guides and the monkeys are working together to rob tourists. That's... Newest conspiracy. That's my conspiracy theory. Uh-huh. Also, 9-11 was an inside job. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know monkeys lived in Spain. No, they don't. They're imported, and they like br they bred like crazy. Like they were like breeding out of wedlock. They were in the streets. They were everywhere. <laughs> breeding out of wedlock. <laughs> we got in, right? We, it was like I don't know, pretty late. It was like probably eight thirty. We were traveling most of the day, so we were tired. And we had just gotten into the hotel, and we went to like put some of our food and stuff away in the fridge. I opened it first, and it shocked me. The fridge shocked me when I touched it. And then you mean my static electricity? No, like shock. Like not like static, but like full on shock. Did they have electric fridges? I like, don't. Were they electrocute you? <laughs> yes, Instead they were. Instead of the electric chair, they have electric fridges. Yeah, it, it, like it hurt really bad. And then my mom came over and she touched. It. She's like, "Oh my god, ow!" So, so we went down. So you know, we tried like unplugging it and plugging it back in, and then it just hurt more. Um, so we stopped. You recharged it. it. <laughs> So we Are you went, turning your fridge on and off again? No, no, we went down and talked to them. And the, and then we we went down and they like we talked to them. It was like uh, we were like, oh yeah, uh, our fridge shocks us whenever we touch it. And they were like, dang, that's crazy, you should use it. I was like, bro, what? Like, it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk to someone about that. I was like, like, what do you mean? Like your fridge is like an electric chair. Like, what do you want us to do? I just thought it was super yeah. weird to have they were basically like, yeah, skill issue when their fridge would shock us when we touched it. Something we did is harmful to you? Man, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. You should consider getting good. It's like going to a therapist and saying like, uh, wow, you should really talk to someone about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should go get some therapy, says the therapist. Yeah, yes, that's exactly what it was like. I was like so upset. So what happened next was the black death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we actually- yeah, all how, many the... how many plagues did you contract while in Europe? No, I actually brought plagues over to Europe. Europe is now suffering from death. Uh, the I brought the black plague back on accident. Then this was one of the funnier things. So we were in we were shopping in a store and they had these little mini miniature carts Like they're like a third the size of like normal carts Maybe even less like a quarter even the cool thing about them is like you could drift really well in them, you know So I was drifting yeah, yeah. around and you know, like I'm playing Mario Kart like I was hitting all the turns Oh, Dude, that's me and Costco going for the samples. I know I know that's the thing That's the thing but they're but they're like so small you could drift really well with them I think I have a picture so anyway, I was drifting around the store and everyone was looking at me looking at me like I'm stupid cuz I wonder why. Yeah, because you, because you are. Yeah. No, because, <laughs> well, because that, they I don't mean, understand you know what, you They don't understand what's socially acceptable in the US of A. Dude, my mom was like, "Okay, Ethan, you got to stop that. You're going to you're going to hurt something." I was like, "No, no, no. It'll be fine. I am a professional." Cuz obviously I felt like I was playing like Forza or whatever. Yeah, of um, course. As so, one does. So then I'm in the condiment aisle. Uh you No, know, the Hey, yo. <laughs> condom. Con no, like the the self help aisle, you know, like with uh, like deodorant and all that silly stuff. Um, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say with the self hygiene. <laughs> yeah, hygiene, the hygiene aisle, not the condiment aisle. Big difference. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> pretty big difference, I've gotta say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I drift around the corner, and then my shoelace comes inside, and I slip. And not like a, like a fast slip, you know, like, oh no, I slipped and like almost fall over. It was a slow, sad slip. And I, I, I slowly fall over like a cartoon with the cart. And I fall sideways into the aisle. And there's a massive smash and I knock like half of the stuff off. And everyone in the store looks at me. And I'm just like, I just like want to die. Um, you are the quintessential American tourist. Go places, get their culture wrong, destroy things. <laughs> I, just, no, I obliterated the entire wall. <laughs> just everything's on the floor. And my, my mom just like stared at me in disappointment. It was so sad. So yeah, that was probably one of my more embarrassing moments. Well, no, but uh, after wow. all the shopping incidents, um, what happened? Uh, uh, my mom hasn't let me push the shopping cart. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love so yeah, we went. We went to Pompeii, and we we had a tour guide, and our tour guide was she was this like probably four, 
four foot eleven max uh, old Italian lady, and she was really nice. And the, oh no, the really cool thing is like about Pompeii is like even after the volcano eruption, all the pipes still work fine. Like they had oh, like what the, pipes? The, like the, the infrastructure, the, the original pipes, and they had like little drinking fountains that where you could use the old pipes. And like after like two thousand years, all the pipes still work. So oh nice, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's were crazy. They lead? So uh, yeah, I have brain damage. I drink from lead pipes. Okay. Fun. And you sold your TF2. <laughs> uh, Ethan guys... went to Europe for two months and didn't do any videos. So uh, if you like his content, dislike this, unsubscribe. No, 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 no. Did you have an actual outro in mind, by the way? No, I'll just record. It. Dude, that guy's Darth Maul. Ethan left. He's not even here anymore. He was Dude, falling around Darth Maul. How do I get this guy's lightsaber? The ADHD is strong with this one. Okay, guys. Oh, you guys are with me. Okay, cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I know this is my first commentary video, so it's really scuffed. I don't know if uh, you guys are ever going to see this. If you do, I probably uploaded it. Um, but... <laughs> probably uploaded it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to bring back older commentary videos, because this is the videos, you know, I enjoy watching mostly, is old, older videos. So I want to try to bring back that kind of a uh, style of older the, videos. The old family values we used to rely on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also, I do actually, I do think we should bring those back. Um, <laughs> but, but also, I, I want to, I want to like add a more of a, a modern spin to it, as Disney, as Disney content creators would say, as the Disney writers would say. Um, because I want to be, I want to aspire to be like Dis Disney writers. Thanks for watching, guys. More commentary videos coming soon. I hope not.